It's Mizzer here, back with part two of the tutorial on how to make a intro for beginners in Cinema 4D. Um, yeah, okay, la we stop we left off on the camera angles and um, how to render. All right, so if you guys remember, we had this when I left you guys. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over to the light where you get the lights from. Click and hold and get a camera and then you're gonna go to cameras tab and click scene cameras and click camera and uh, now we're gonna now we have like a camera here and nice first person alright now where the frames are right here we're gonna wanna edit them to about five to six hundred frames it's up to you how many uh how long you want the intro to be uh, my I'm myself I'm gonna do six hundred Alright, so I've got 600 frames. Click enter. Alright, now we're going to want key framing down. So what we're going to want to do is click the middle red button right here. Click it once, and now we're ready to record. So get in your first position where you want the intro to start. I'm going to start right in the in the M. And then we're going to want to click at 50 frames. And then scroll out. about there and then we're gonna want to go to about a hundred frames and scroll out more so just skip every 50 frames and scroll out don't do it too like too many little like spots or else it'll get really slow the intro 150 frames Let's go out a little bit more Alright, here we go. There, now we have Machinima tutorial. I'm going to go to 200 frames now. Scroll outward. Alright, now we got that. And now what I want to do is... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some pretty... Uh, these are beginner cam... I mean, this one's not that hard. What you do is you scroll in about that much. And make it move up. And then when you hit 300 frames, you go here and spin it about there and scroll out. Uh, 350 frames. We're going to want to move over. Or 300 frames, sorry. Or yeah, 350, sorry. Now we're going to want to go to 400 frames. And do that exact same thing over again. Zoom in. Move over. And then we're going to want to go to 450 frames. Do -do -do. Okay. And spin it. And scroll out. And move over just a little bit. And now we're going to want to go to 500 frames. And move over just a tiny bit. And look down and scroll in just a little bit. Now we're going to want to scroll in a little bit more. And for that entire 600 frames all right now we ended off with this all right now we have all of our keyframes set now we're going to want to click to the very first frame and click play so here's what we got it's up to you uh on what your uh like what your camera angles i mean just play around with it, do some test intros, and you'll finally get one that you like. Alright, <laughs> it just replayed. Okay, now we're going to render this. Um, Alright, now we're going to want to go back to the render settings like I showed you in the beginning. Go to options. Or, sorry, go to uh, output. And go from the frame range, go current frame. Go from 0 frames to 600 frames. 
because that's how many frames we just used. If you go any more higher, then um, then it will just be a longer render and have a, a big black spot at the end. I recommend just going one frame over what you did. Um, yeah, and go back to save. Go to uh, options for your save. And the compression type, do, don't do do animation because uh, whenever I did animation, animations, they would just like freeze up. Alright, now that you have your render settings done, you just want to click inside the middle orange box and click uh, click it again inside the middle exactly and now we're rendering the video um, I'm just gonna let it do its thing and at the end of the video I'm gonna put the intro I just made alright guys uh, have a great day this is misery with part two of this tutorial um, my next tutorial will probably be after effects intros alright thanks guys thanks for watching bye